Hello Cancer and welcome to your monthly reading. This is the reading for the month of November. Okay. Yeah, there's lots of readjustments, so much going on. But I see, you know, strengthening some of your ties, okay? Um, there are some, you know, you, you're dealing with some changes. Um, you know, people that are most important to you. So there are some things that need to be cleared up there, strengthening some ties. There are a little bit of changes showing in. Um, also, you know, uh, connecting to like very influential type of people. Um, now, caution is needed with some stuff. Uh, where, who, and what you invest in. Again, balance. You could be giving too much. You could be doing too much. Balance, balance, balance. Patience, balance. Um, yeah, definitely it's coming through here. Yeah, well, I see like a low type of energy. Um uh, may, or this is like low energy that some of you may have been experienced for experiencing for a while is now going to start picking up though. So that is good. You know, home and family is definitely in focus. I also see you full type of energy. Um, that's children are in focus and there is heartwarming energy. There's going to be moments that are very, very heartwarming. And for some, I see, you know, spending too much time um let me see too much time either at home or in some other areas again we're needing balance and you could be missing out some opportunities with work okay or you're just you got so much on your plate maybe that it's like you know you're missing the good ones uh, that's just one way of uh, that's for some of you out there. It's a general reading. You need to find a balance, okay? That's definitely coming through. Or um, the reverse. Too much work and home is neglected. One area is could be neglected. That's what I'm saying. And Or you're just fighting so hard to try to balance both. Okay, you could be getting really stressed out too. So if you made that balance, keep it up. Reminders to do that. Um, and taking care of yourself. Very important. Now, this could be a child or a partner. Um, there is some very beautiful energy coming through here. Um, you could be receiving love from them or there's a lot of love, love gifts, um, good time together. Deeply, how do I say, moving and meaningful energy. I really, really do like that. I do see like possibly work-related travel or just travel in general. Um, let your intuition guide you. Very important. Especially where money is involved. Okay. Okay. We're seeing that. That's very important. You will know the score. Okay, let's put it that way. Um, so let your intuition guide you. Uh, definitely um, have uh, trust your own gut feelings. You know, a simple hobby can have some money written all over it. So highly creative energy here. Yeah, profits. Yeah. Or your... Or... You know, you may be, you may be just great at, you know, uh, financial uh, uh, finances here, like wheeling and dealing. You may take a chance to make more. All right. You do have luck on your side. I do see that. See, I do see that. Now, you may be spending some money or time um, on children because I see the um, you, you full energy again. It looks like children. And on their activities or their needs, things like that. Um, maybe some of you, it could be, you know, like you're, I'm giving you an example, your kids um, maybe earning their own money, doing um, some babysitting for you or doing some chores. And so you're giving them pocket money for it or rewards, you know, that kind of energy, what I'm seeing here. But trust your intuition. And yeah, we do have some 
energy that's, you know, you could be really hard on yourself. Perfectionist type of energy too. So be careful of that, you know, because you really have good energy, but then we have that kind coming in too. Yeah. Health. Health is showing up too, and work matters are definitely in focus. Also, um... Some of you may get like um, an addition, like a pet or something. It's a little, it looks more like an animal. Um, or there's a focus on, you know, you get a new pet and there could be some frolics over it, you know. <laughs> uh, definitely I see you, you know, you're going to be earning more money from hard work. It's going to pay off. Perseverance, hard work, it is paying off. So uh, don't lose faith. Um there is important business uh, changes that are happening, and these could be behind the scenes. This could, if you have your own business, you could be making these all behind the scenes. It's best to keep things quiet, and you usually do. But there is some changes happening. Um, you have huge luck on your side, though, too. So despite the fact that you may not think you do, okay. So that came through there. Let's put that on the side, and let's see what's on the plate. Watch not to allow like prolonged type of aggravating situations to continue, okay? That's what I'm feeling here. Um, don't take any hasty risks or impulsive moves. You know, you get fed up and you quit a job or I'm, you, you know what I'm saying, okay? Your hobbies definitely are in focus. Um, learning, um, for some you may be even taking courses. Uh, there's some sense of educational pursuits. So I'm seeing that there too. trying to see this better okay um you know you may make a great impression a wow type of impression okay um something you may be showcasing okay very creative energy i do see that however um yes appearance presentation is important but also make sure you get the job done okay um Substance and quality also matters is one thing I'm seeing here. Conversations, deep conversations coming through here. Um, deep, meaningful conversations. Uh, you know, like maybe you have chat sessions, uh, long coffee times together with someone, um, dinners with really meaningful conversations. It's really showing up there. Um you know, being around people that are good for you, people that you love, that you know are very important to you, um, it is very important now. You need to be around those positive, good, loving people. Um, you do want to get something new started. There's a little bit of struggle here, okay? And pushing um, anxious for it, okay? It's, it's an ongoing energy. It looks like it's coming from, you know, um, October too, to start. But don't jump ahead. It can have a little bit of negative consequences, okay? Maybe even disastrous. So just be, um, you know, one step at a time. Be sure you have everything in order before you race, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. You're more in your shell, too, at the same time, no matter what. You're very into your shell, um, very alone, closed in for for some more than others, okay? Not everybody's like this. It's... It's a need to be a time alone for some reason I'm feeling this, okay? Um, you know, but the thing is, you don't need to be alone is another message. Uh, you need to maybe talk to someone because it looks like for some, you could be going into a depression. So be careful of that energy. There is that negative type of energy, even though everything looks pretty good. There is a little bit of that. Um, so... You know, now there is a possibility that some news comes in that is, you know, a little bit of negative energy, some negative energy showing up. Um, but reacting to this emotionally is what I'm seeing here. Um, it can be maybe a little bit of crisis. If you can't remain calm, you know, you got to reach out for help right away to avoid some kind of depression. This could be just internal stuff. OK, so it's really hard. It's kind of complex here. It can be, you know, an emergency type of crisis for some, or you take it that way. 
Um, it's possible. It's just how you react to it is what's showing up for me. But really, you got have you have really good opportunities here coming through, and there is some luck on your side. Well, that's what showed up on the plate. Okay, so now we're going to see what the gemstones have to say. Oops. Okay. You know, being discreet about your maneuvers, all right? I'm seeing that there and your calculations. So it's it's advisable to be discreet too, but also you are. Um, you're definitely appreciating, there's a really strong appreciation of natural ways and no pretense tolerated, you know, with friends or groups. Either way, I'm seeing that. It's like you just can't stand superficiality. There's a sense of perfectionist here with you. And that's what, that could maybe even bring you to be so hard on some things. All right, your um your heart may not be in a social mood here or a so or a social obligation, okay? Cuz these both are coming in reverse here. Or in activities, okay? Now, they may not because they may not deliver as much um excitement as you had hoped. That's what I'm seeing here too. All right, your professional goals uh, personal and professional goals is showing up, okay? And the contacts are pretty much um, positive here, all right? Hmm. Now, love and romance is coming through here, but again, it's like you're a little bit isolated. There's some changes that you need to make, all right? I'm seeing, again, love and romance here, but the thing is um, uh, you need some fresh perspectives, all right? Now, an old wound can be coming through here, all right, the way it's aligning here. So this is an old wound, something from the past as, you know, but you got to look at it. You could be hard on yourself, what I'm feeling here. Um, you are who you are now, not who you were back then, okay? That's a message I want to clear up. Uh, changes, change comes, and this could be coming in from your hand or someone close to you. From multiple directions, I'm seeing also, okay? Pay attention to sign and signals, okay? That is really coming through. Your um, professional and personal um, life, there is some changes coming through in different areas. This is definitely, create. this is very high creative energy. Um, this is also adjusting things to be able to build that foundation and balance, okay? With your health, your home, your lifestyle, work, all of that is still kind of struggling some of you got it made but you know and there's deeper perspectives kind of isolate isolated there too you need to learn to take to take a little bit more is what I'm seeing here okay again it's showing up here um, equally you're giving ways leave you empty okay it's in reverse. You definitely need balance. Stop giving so much in relationship or whatever it is. You're constantly thinking it's not enough. Whatever you do, it's like, it's not enough. It's not enough. That's what I'm picking up here from some of you. It's like, and I know I'm guilty of that sometimes too, especially when I do readings or that. It's like, I always think, oh, I got to give more. I got to give more. And then I put too much on my plate. That's another example. So we're seeing that energy. It definitely needs balance. All right. Um, it's a time for great. There is a time for great clarity coming through. All right, it's it's time to take some positive action to resolve some issues that you may have about a person or views on love too, okay? So we just went through that. Now with your partner, um, you may be, um, they may be a little bit possessive because it is coming here um, in the reverse, that's possibly, of your time or you feel they're taking all your time. Maybe, like I said, you need a balance, responsibilities or they're, you're doing too much for them. You need self-care. You need to take care of yourself. You're so isolating yourself but giving so much in love, relationships, and work, okay? Um, now, I do see um, there could be some commitments coming in, you know, to get engaged, move in together, marry, or step up, you know, getting married, a step up in your relationship. Um, but your bottled up feelings here, um, they're going to come out. You can't hold them in much longer. They're just like you're about to burst. The key is to be a little bit more open with your partner, okay, and say what you need to say for both of you, all right? You definitely need to come out because you're just taking on too much, all right? So that's what came through there, and now I want to pull the animal uh, wisdom cards, 
When I shuffled, you got two cards. This was the extra card. Okay, the card you got is Dear. Pathfinder, trust your instincts to guide you through the situation. I hit the phone again. The first thing I want to say when you see the deer is be gentle to yourself. Okay? The deer is very um, cunning. Be smart. Do things with grace. Don't be nobody's doormat. Uh, take care of yourself too, okay? This, uh, the deer comes with really purity. Uh, no superficiality. We're seeing that energy. Definitely intuition. You know, the deer that sees the headlight, you know, that stares into the lights when your car is passing by. But trust your instincts to guide you through the situation, okay? So, yeah, trust your instincts. Know what you should be doing. Um, keep things a little discreet. Again, you could be watched from someone else in the side too. There are people out there that are gentle and kind. So um, reach out to those people, uh, the ones that make you feel good, that are pure, pure in love, pure in that, and speak your mind. And the extra card that you got when I was shuffling is the seal. Okay, imagination, immerse yourself in artistic and creative expression high creativity. The seal also talks about grace and gentleness. Again, this is high intuition. Okay, now imagination. Sometimes you need to break free. Um, you have creative energy here. Uh, it's sometimes adapting to your new ideas. Maybe something comes through your imagination, you can make it tangible. That can be soothing. It also says, um, with the seal, it says play sometimes. Okay, now be careful of other people. You could have imagined thoughts about um things you may be too hard on yourself maybe um you think someone's making fun of you or that it could be all in your mind too that's another way i could look at this okay but it's high creativity intuition playfulness um do things with grace uh be kind to yourself so those are the messages that came through well cancer that was your reading for the month of november um and then I do the weeklies, so check out the weeklies for additional messages and the energies as they merge through the month. I hope you have a wonderful month, and I'll catch you in the weeklies. And bye for now.